True Believers, Ethan Ainsworth here with Firepower, number one, by Robert Kirkman and Chris Samney. Samney? Chris Samney, let's say. Um, I did get this particular uh, free comic book day edition from Strange Adventures in Halifax, Nova Scotia. It's a tr fantastic store. Um, not my usual comic pickup store, but a fantastic store nonetheless that I recommend. Um, I'd like to start right off the bat by saying what a brilliant idea it was to have the first issue of this new series be a free comic book day issue. Um, this this is not like a preview edition. This is not a, um, a prelude to the actual series. This is the first issue of Firepower. This is Firepower number one by Robert Kirkman, and it's free. Um, now, there is a $3.99 version of this you can purchase if you like, but I think it's really smart to eliminate the sort of barrier to entry that comes naturally with an indie comic where you're not invested in any of the characters yet, you're not necessarily invested in the writer. Um, he, he removes that barrier to entry. There's no risk just jumping into this first issue because it's free. I think that's really, really smart. So this story is about Owen Johnson. Um, basically, Owen Johnson is his reality's version of the Iron Fist, more or less. Uh, only his Iron Fist is called the Firepower. But one thing that this book does really well that I appreciate is it takes the first issue to sort of just like calm down in much in the same way that Invincible did. And it's something that Robert Kirkman does really well is just character development. That's his whole issue. Uh, and I think he did that really well in The Walking Dead, those early issues. I think he did really well in Invincible with just right off the bat character development. These are the characters, these are what they're about, like them. Um, so we get the we get the sort of C. Owen Johnson after his days of being firepower. Like he's sort of retired from the sort of mystic background. He's sort of disenfranchised, disillusioned with that sort of world. And he just wants to live a normal family life with his wife and children. Um, and of course his dog. But one thing this book does that I really appreciate is all the characters are just talking for the first, like, half of the book, at least. And we get to meet his whole family. His whole family, we get to meet his children, his adoptive parents, his wife. And um, they're all really, really likable characters. The only criticism I would say is that they're all too witty. They're all too snappy and quirky and, and bantery. Like, they're... <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have his father like that or his mother like that and then have him and his daughter like that, maybe, because it sort of goes along the family tree. It's sort of, it's an indication of how they were raised, but it's too much. It's, um, it's everybody. Everybody's super, super witty in like bantery and cute. Um, by the way, you can see my tripod in this. I apologize about that. I'm, I'm shooting this with my wide-angle lens so that you can see the whole book, even though it's only a foot or so in front of me. Um, but yeah, that is that is one criticism I have. All the characters in this book are really likable, though. I do like the art. I think the art is a little... I, I get that it's a style, but I think it's a little too minimalist um, for a book like this. And one other thing I will say, despite the fact that I do like the art, I think it's charming, it doesn't lend itself very well to fight scenes. At least the artist, um, Christopher Samney, he, um, he doesn't necessarily grasp that narrative flow that fight scenes should have. They're serviceable, but they're not fluid like you would expect. Um, this is a decent example of a, of an okay fight scene in the first issue, but even this doesn't like really, because then you've got the character on one side and then they're on the other side and they're, they're doing an, a, an offense and they're doing another offensive move, mo move in opposite directions. And there are these sort of quirks that don't really make any sense. Um, characters seem to hop around. There doesn't seem to be any real fluid motion to any of the um, any of the moves displayed. And that's a real problem with a book about martial arts um, is not having a, a good narrative flow with martial arts. And that's, the problem is, is that's most of the second issue, or at least half of the second issue is just like 
a fight scene. By the way, this is an example of the firepower. It looks great um, with this artwork. But yeah, we basically learn about uh, Owen's origin story. We learn why he doesn't enjoy the mystic arts anymore. Why he just sort of wants to settle down and live his life. What happened? What was the catalyst that brought him to this place that disenfranchised him with, with his world? And um, we learn that he sort of never really bought into the whole like mystic arts thing to begin with. There's a sort of murder mystery element that I assume will unfold over the next few issues. Um, it's hard to say for sure where this book is going. I like the direction it's going in so far. It's a very charming, down-the-earth book. Um, but that said, I've only read the first two issues, and there have only been three released so far. So I'll, <laughs> I'll keep you updated as long as I'm reading it, I'm sure. But um, this is a really good use of blacks in this scene here. This is a really good use of colors, very vibrant colors, but seldomly used. It creates a, a lot of really nice contrast. But anyway, that's Firepower by Robert Kirkman. Uh, if you want, this is his whole origin story. You can pause and read that, and that will give you a um, an explanation of this character's past and where he came from and how he came to be a family man. Uh, sorry, it's kind of a low energy review. Um, <laughs> I do I do recommend this book. I mean, if you can get a free comic book day edition of it, there's no reason at all not to read this book. And um, yeah, I'd recommend the second issue too. If I'm honest, it's pretty good so far. I'll um, I'll post more reviews in the future as this book comes out. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.